What's this? Where are we? Who are you? Oh my goodness. It's it's a new person. Wait, Sounds I know like you. Peter You're that Griffin. Chelsea girl. That uh, <laughs> that one that's got that YouTube channel down in the description right down there. You know, that's she's me. Yeah, she's cool. She's cool. I remember her now. All right, <laughs> sorry, sorry. There's a lot going on. I'm trying to trying to get my my mind wrapped around all this. Multitasker. Yeah, yeah, trying. I'm trying. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm a guy. Guys aren't as good as mul- at multitasking as women. That's just a fact. I like that you can admit it. Oh, I oh, wholeheartedly. A lot of guys can like never admit anything. I I'm sorry, I can't keep up that accent the whole time. Well, here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, and it's more JonTron from us. Uh, and this is a uh, uh, Japanese shoot 'em ups. Uh, JonTron, uh, we watched uh, the last one. We watched actually got a lot of people talking. Uh, we watched one called Takeshi's Challenge. Turns out that is actually the Takeshi from Takeshi's Castle. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Is it Takeshi or is it so Takashi? Uh, uh, Takeshi. Takeshi. Uh, but, yeah, Takeshi's cat. You remember the show MXC? I don't know if you remember that Extreme long time ago. Elimination Challenge. Uh, yeah, that was actually a Japanese show called Takeshi's Challenge. Oh, okay. And, uh, and they adapted Castle. it here in the States to be MXC. Takeshi's because, Challenge is the video game. Yeah, Takeshi's Challenge is the video game. Whereas Takeshi's Castle is the... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, people were just like, hey, you you reviewed a Japanese game. Do some more from 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 uh, John Tron. The Japanese yeah. shoot 'em ups. So, I've played my fair amount of shoot 'em ups. Uh, Me too. One of my favorites as a kid was uh, one in the arcade called Smash TV. I don't know if you ever played it. Uh-oh. Uh, Smash TV was pretty much you were in this battle arena and you had to go around and kill all these guys. There was a uh, the final boss of the game was also the same as the first boss. Except uh, the final boss, he actually had a final form where after you destroyed his head and his torso and all this on it, there was one final head underneath and it shot lasers at you from its eyes. And uh, after you shoot him and kill him, his head goes flying off in a fountain of blood. It's just like, oh. I guess you're spending lots of quarters. I spent spent pretty much (laughs) two weeks worth of allowance on on that. Yeah, just trying to beat that game. And I did. (laughs) And when I did, I was just like, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Whoa, yeah, and um, that was a fun. That was a it's fun adorable. time. So, so I don't know if it falls in the same category, but I do. I do have two. I have, I have one. I know falls in the same category. One I'm not so much, but um, one is we have a roller skating rink over behind where our Kmart soon. used to be. Yeah, I remember that. If you guys and skate, please go with me sometime. I definitely, I'd like to go sometime. Yeah, um, we'll but see. A long time ago, when I was little, uh, we went there and they had metal slug. Oh, and it was the yes. original Metal Slug, and I was like, this looks cool as fuck, and I remember playing that, and like the music from the first level was stuck in my head for like the next like decade, pretty much, just because it was so epic. <laughs> yep. That was yeah, awesome. That. The other thing is, like, I don't know if it really falls into shooting ups, but just on spending a lot of quarters at the arcade, um, my mom worked at the fair one year, and I had to go hang out there, basically, and just wait on my mom to run this booth for, like, three hours, and I had nothing to do. So my mom was like, here's a whole bunch of quarters, because I like, go do whatever you want, you know, or here's a whole bunch of money. So I was like, I could ride rides, but the arcade right, house the house arcade. of the dead. <laughs> yeah. And so I went You're and changed wrong, all 15 right. bucks in the quarters and put them in both sides in a Kimbo beat house of the dead. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It was fun as fuck. Yeah, they there's actually one game that I that a friend of mine tried that with, and he couldn't do it because of the ducking mechanic, Time Crisis. Yeah, I wouldn't have tried that one. That would be he he did too much he, for he, my brain. He like stood there. He was just like he was like duck, <laughs> uh, pow 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 yeah. pow reload, <laughs> duck. That I already had awesome. a little bit of problems because like where you'd have to reload by shooting off screen, you know, because I would occasionally accidentally like, clack the guns together when I reload. Yeah. <laughs> Like, oops. Yep. So I have to reload like this, basically, like or straight down. But yeah, takes a little getting used to stuff like that. I loved it. I loved stuff like that when I was a kid. Uh, also, Area Fifty One. Yeah, that was a that fun was one a fun too. one. To end up. And uh, Carnival, we always played at the yes. uh, theater. Of oh, Blumpen. I remember Carnival. Oh, so yeah. good. That was good. What uh, What's one that you have a really fond memory of? A shoot 'em up, either in the arcade or on uh, or at home. Hmm. Don't ask me that because I really don't know. Okay, okay. Or throw out some really good ones that I could like maybe think of that I would know. Let's see. Maybe not an arcade one, but at home. Huh. And what system would it be on? Let's see. Would it be like Nintendo get... stuff? Probably. Because like, the shoot 'em out would Galaga. No, like no. Contra. 
Gal- or Galaga Galaga's might count. One. Gal- Galaga might count. I'm not sure. It's an old school one, but yeah. definitely a good one. Um, I'm trying to think of like things that you might have just come across. But it's I like can't the think James Bond 007. Is that considered? Yeah, a... that's yeah, considered right, a shooter. Well, but yeah, yeah I considered a shooter. one of the first first person shooters besides, or one of the first console, I guess, first person shooters probably. Yes. Yes, definitely. You guys are talking like arcade style back in the day. Yeah. Oh, there was also about, Silent Scope. What about, what is, um, this game is, Mortal Kombat, is that not Oh, that's a beat em up. Oh, that's a beat em up. Fighting game. Yeah. Some people have their weapons, but, okay. Yeah. I don't know exactly then. It's okay. So, anyway, we got these Japanese. Oh, and then there's the one we talked about, Einhander. Yes. Yeah, Einhander. badass. Uh, it's pretty much a one where you're flying around. And your your ship can actually grab guns from other ships and use it to and use it to fire at enemies. That's neat. So All the boss fights have really epic music, and the bosses yell stuff in German at you before you start the fights, which I don't really know why, but it's cool as <laughs> shit. Sounds like the Nazi <laughs> zombies games. Yeah, the, where they're always screaming like all kinds of like Dunkamp, Arschloch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we got this uh, John Trump video queued up here. And uh, you've never seen a John Tron video before, no, have you? No, this is my first well, one. Well, prepare for something. He's yeah, an entertaining dude. Yes, he's a very entertaining dude. Okay. So here we go. This has actually become one of my favorite things we watch on here right now. Yeah. Classic John Tron. Nice. Hey. Ah, uh, Jacques. That's awesome. I've played a few like this as well. Yeah. Top down. The Japanese make some crazy shit. Yeah, but what can you expect? They've lived isolated on an island for like, what, thousands of years? Your brain's bound to make up some weird stuff. Also, you drop a couple of Hanks nukes was on. on an island and he became best friends with a ball. A ball! And he was only Listen. there for like a couple of years. Now, can you imagine how many tentacles this ball would have had coming out if you give him a couple more decades on that island? <laughs> Nowhere was this craziness better exemplified than the yes. Japanese shoot em up genre. Favorites. Oh, that bullet hell. No holds barred. You can make a game about an artichoke that shoots scud missiles and it'd probably sell. In fact, I think that exists. I think I have that. It's a, it's a platinum seller. Ah, the <laughs> memories with this one. I still have the nightmares. Well, you got your classics like Galaxy okay, and Galaxy. Yes, of all it does. Shoot em it counts. You got your arcade favorites like Ride End, Twin B, R Type, and Gradius. R Type. There are the that ones that are a little like more that. out there, like Space Harrier or Parodius. Oh! Now, most of them at least wow. make some sense, but those aren't the ones we're talking about today. We're going to look at some <laughs> of the weirder games this genre has to offer. Let's start with Fantasy Zone, a classic example of the subgenre known as cute em ups. Your objective is to destroy flowers and pollen and, I don't know, bugs and stuff. They're all really cute, and it makes me feel bad because maybe I'm really the bad guy? <laughs> you can travel in both directions, which was a pretty significant deviation from the normal side scrolling or vertical scrolling shooter back then. You bounce back and forth and blow up enemies to collect coins. Classic! You buy power-ups for your ship, fight a boss, and advance to the next level. What's interesting here is that it's wow. structured like an iPhone game or even like a Flash game. And we all know how popular those kinds of games have become in recent years. So popular, the market's oversaturated to the brim. 30 years worth of foresight! Damn, Sega, wanna use that sum of that nowadays? Oh, right. that sum of that on this? No. Fuck's going on with y'all? The ship in this game, adorably named Opa Opa, has actually been Aww. considered to be one of Sega's first mascot characters. Opa, wow! Opa. To think this guy's up there with the likes of Alex Kidd, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Billy the Sex Offender. <laughs> what did you, did you forget about that All guy? Right. Well, I didn't. I'll never forget <laughs> Sega. Hey, oh, whoa! <laughs> Maybe it takes some Pepto Bismol before you come into work, Chief. I spit peas all over the dang place. Next <laughs> up is a game called Panorama Cotton, a game about, uh, you know, cotton, I guess, uh, and uh, panor- uh, panoramic pictures. <laughs> Those are nice. Let me tell you, the story here is one for the ages. Like, uh, oh, all right, what's that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm into it. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. All right, that's all the motivation I need. Let's get this show on the road. Looks like Sailor Moon. Kind of. I don't nice. know exactly what. But some shit is going down right now. Whoa, 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 okay, all right, that's good. Now, 
I think I know where I am again now. Oh, wait, no, I was wrong. Still Would Jim be considered confused. one? This uh, that's kind of a, like space FPS. carrier, mm -hmm. actually, and yeah. surprisingly, it's but it has very to play. similar like it feels good to move, to this. speed up, slow down, and grab the power ups. Oh, and then I was just inappropriate. All right, what's next on the bill? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Harmful park, highbrow <laughs> gag, and pure shooting. I mean, sh should I be holding this? Like, can I can I show this on this show? This is fucked up, dude. Highbrow gag and pure shooting? Sounds like we're talking about an aristocratic serial killer. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, okay. So harmful park like refers to the land. fact that we are literally in a theme park that is dangerous, as in it is filled with enemies that will harm you. Oh, I get it now. It's like my other favorite game, True Sword and Lots Magic, Adventure Boy. Aside, <laughs> <laughs> this game is amazing. I mean, it, this is simply one of the best shoot 'em ups I've ever played, and I've never heard of it up until now. You got weapons like pie, which is throwing pies. Ice, okay, that's totally ice we're looking at. <laughs> Potato and um, Jerry. Jerry, John's getting upset. <laughs> I'm willing to take a guess they meant jelly, like in jelly beans, because that's what it looks like you're shooting. Oh my God. Well, this guy's got a cat living in his head, so that might explain the whole anger thing there. <laughs> that Frankenstein just flipped me the double bird, and then lasers came out. Damn straight, you Two can play at that game. Double shots? I'm gonna wager the only truly harmful thing in this part is me. You know, the lady shooting lasers at everything, okay. Next up is a game called KO Flying Squadron for the Sega CD. At least this one has a somewhat normal name. In the eighth year of the KO era, Japan neared the end of its feudal period. The shogun, facing an uprising by the anti-government movement, asked France for military help in order to suppress the rebellion. As the French were unwilling to assist, the government turned to the American delegation that was visiting Japan at the time to negotiate the Japan-U.S. peace treaty. You see, America was known as the country which had established a unique... Oh, this is a historical timepiece game. Uh, is that going to be on the test? <laughs> oh, I get it now. History science. This game is great too, honestly. It plays well, just like Harmful Park. The animations are really smooth, and it's got that whole Japanese mythological style going on. But it's uh, it's a bit overshadowed by the uh... Hyper Cutie Bunny Chase! What? I'm scared. I'm moving on. When I set out to make this episode, there were two specific games I had in mind that I wanted to play. Two that really stood above the rest. The first one, Samurai Zombie Nation. As you can see, I think this is really gonna be a treat just based on the cover. Um, um. That's oh! not how that... Is that a witch? Hey buddy, you all right? You gotta sneeze? Somebody get this guy a tissue and also maybe a paperweight as he seems to be getting caught in this light breeze. Oh, and also, what was that? 1999, what appeared to be a harmless <coughs> meteorite. Yeah, I'm not sure harmless is the word I'd use for that. Crashing into the Nevada desert had turned out to be dark seed. Oh no, not him. An evil alien creature with horrible powers. Oh, all right, we're fine then. They just said his powers suck. Dark Seed had turned the helpless nation into zombies and had brought the Statue of Liberty to life to do his dirty work? But what Dark Seed didn't realize is that she's too big to do inside people things, so he had to come to terms with doing his own laundry most of the time. <laughs> These rays had also given him control over many deadly weapons, but none were more powerful than the legendary samurai sword Shura. When the great head of the samurai, Namakubi, heard that the sword had fallen into evil hands, he set off immediately for the United States. <laughs> All right, familiar territory. First some level, point where you just go a little like too far with your hand. story. What? Like, what? What? <laughs> what? What? is the decapitated head? Japanese. Uh, Japanese. <laughs> 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 what you? Continue? Well, uh, well, yes, absolutely. I don't ever want to stop doing that ever. Wait, 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 wait. So when they said the great head of the samurai, they, they literally, literally meant the actual head. Oh my God, why is that? <laughs> now I'm not too sure if I'm the bad guy or the good guy because I kind of look like the bad guy right now. But then again, 
Bad guys don't go left to right. What is, what is happening here? I, first of all, this looks like Las Vegas, not New York. Now, I'm not quite really sure how this works at all. I'm, I'm shooting eyeballs out my head, coughing up remnants of my trachea <laughs> to the people below, and I think my life is measured in a bulbo. Can we look at this for a moment? I'm a goddamn severed head of an emperor's ghost come over from his creepy doghouse in Japan to the United States to save everyone by killing everyone. Where did this guy learn how to save a country? The United States? And yes, this is supposed to be the good guy. In the intro, it says he no comes blue. over to stop Darkseed and save the helpless Americans. Oh, we sure are helpless. There's no doubt there. But I, I don't know about the whole saved thing. Can you tell me then, if this is what the good guy is doing, what is the bad guy doing? I need to see that shit. Not many <laughs> eyeballs that guy got in his eyes. I'm no eyeball scientist, but I don't think you get to have that many eyeballs. All right, we have seen some pretty crazy stuff today, but we've only got one game left. Choaniki. I mean, what could this possibly throw at us to surprise us? I mean, we've seen it all by now. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, it's... Uh... About that one. <laughs> Quite literally, I, I don't. I don't even need to say anything. I think this does the talking for me. Well, <laughs> here's Choaniki, a game for the PlayStation One that was uh, something. You can pick from a guy or a girl What's character. PlayStation One Both looks so enticing, don't they? Which one are you gonna pick? Ah, <laughs> uh, here's the story. Willing to guess? We don't need to listen to this. What? Okay, maybe we did need to listen to it after all. No, not my wiener. My one wiener. No, it's uh, so it sort doesn't of a beat matter what too. happens, we mm. have to play that part yeah. before the actual game begins. I don't even know if it has any bearing on the actual gameplay. I even sat here and played until it ended naturally without me dying, and nothing happens. You know, this may come as a surprise, but I still don't know what the fuck is going oh, on. Oh no! I remember this. You got muscular guys. You playing? By on I know. I remember chairs. seeing muscular an old video about this. <coughs> There's like a bald dude. Yeah, one of these. It. One of these things comes to life. What? Oh. Hey Watch. There. Just how are you? Uh, if he shows oh. it. Oh, okay. What do I have to pay to have you never look at me like that again? <laughs> Here it is. Watch this guy's face. Um, what did okay. I just see? Was that Arnold Schwarzenegger with a comb over sticking out his HR Geiger dick? <laughs> I'm not looking again. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, that's what it is. That's the last one. It's over. I I, I literally can't what? believe what I'm looking at. I, I honestly can't believe it. It's a self He's got like the thing. Death Star coming out of his garage. Too happy about this. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Oh my God. What is that? Get there it is. Oh Lord, I think I'm coming down with a case of the vapors. <laughs> I have fallen, and I choose not to get up. <laughs> well, at least Pope Francis decided to show up. Presumably to perform an exorcism on this shit. I gotta tell you, without this guy here to regulate this human pyramid fight, this would be truly chaos. Now that's what I call a hot mess. Hallelujah! It's raining men! <laughs> Jesus. What? What even is, is that? This a frog? A snail frog? Yeah. Oh, guy, what are you doing? Really? Well, his, his face Cereal is stuck frog. to the wall. Dash, turtle, dash, something else. I gotta tell you, I'm scared straight over here. What is even happening here? Is this a glitch? It is not a glitch. I mean, this was, uh, this was explicitly programmed by someone. I, I have lost faith. I've lost faith. I'm not going back in. No, I won't do it. Nope. Seriously, no. I'm not, nope. I'm not going back in. It's, nope. it's done. Cut. Nope. Can't do it. Maybe in. somebody put me back in the Kubrick? I want to go back into Kubrick. Like somebody maybe can take me to the <laughs> room where I become an old man and watch myself die. Yeah, it's fine. Like you don't even need to give me the whole space baby thing. I'll I'll go without the space baby. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll take the space baby. <laughs> John Tron is supported in part by companies like Audible.com. John Tron is free to watch, but here's a list of things that aren't free. Food! 
So if you feel like supporting JonTron and helping it grow, consider signing up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com using this link, audible.com slash JonTron. If you sign up right now, you can get a free audiobook, and if you don't like it, just cancel. It's hassle-free. This month, I recommend to you Fast Food Nation. Hey, let's not lie. I don't think I've had any shortage of that. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you need the Audible link, it's in the description as well. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. That's how you can stay updated with the show. And if you want to watch more John Trons, click those annotations right there. See you next time. That was interesting. Yeah. What the fuck? It was uh, that last one with the little Death Star coming out of his crotch. Like, I don't even know about that one, but... Why are you rewinding? Is that really necessary? All right, buddy, we have to see that again. Oh! Boss fight. And then it bends, like, to make my it God, even weirder. What is that? Final four, bro. <laughs> not even my final four, bro. I love I've this part. He's like, I fell and I'm just saying. I'm coming down with a case of the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> I have fallen! And I choose not to get up. <laughs> that is my life. There's either another game kind of similar to that, or that's the same one, but I've seen some other very weird shit similar to that as well. Wow. Also, I'm pretty sure out of Japan. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I thought I played a lot of weird games, but apparently not that weird. Mm, yeah, no, that's weird. That, that was. I that thought. That's weird. I thought Zero Ring Ring was weird. <laughs> that's. Cool. I was mistaken. Zero Wing is normal. That's. Cool. That's the yeah. zero wing is average. You're seeing zero wing is basic bitch, whereas that is exactly that is. Okay, last question: Is Star Fox considered? Yes, yes. I would finally. Say, oh, I'll get a little bit of points with that. It's basically any game where you hold down a button to shoot the enemies. Yeah, or tap it repeatedly. I mean, the most, then you just dodge a lot of the buttons. I mean, Call of Duty that doesn't help. Yeah, not really. First That's person FPS. shooter. That's a it's, they're mostly like the on rails, like where you're not really controlling where you go per se. It kind of mm. just goes for you, and you, you just get out of the way, or uh, like, like just have to shoot stuff and... before it gets to you. You know, yeah, so like, like the parts. Yeah, like the gummy, uh, ship. yeah, like the gummy ship. Yeah, the gummy yeah. ship. Segments. Those are shooter yeah. levels. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. At least in t for one and two, three. It's three. Oh, it's a little more freeform. Yeah. yeah. I feel you. Which yeah. I have no words right now other than I'm frightened. Yeah. Like, like, Japan, what Japan is capable Also, don't of. take any of this, of this as, like, exposure to what shoot 'em up games always are, because this is... Not... This, no. is, this okay. is some shit I have seen now and can't unsee, so... <laughs> oh. But, uh, <laughs> I, I really <laughs> like shooter <laughs> games, other than these. His face alone right now. Like, yeah, that's that's it. pure mood right there. <laughs> he's just like, he's just like, I don't want to see this again. I, yeah. I want to die. I, I just want to go... Someplace else that isn't here. <laughs> He's like, I will stay. I will take cosmic horror. Other than this, just not this. I signed up for some shit. Not fucking this. Not fucking... Contracted with YouTube. What have I seen now? <laughs> oh God. Uh. So yeah, that was John Tron's Japanese shoot 'em ups. Disturbing. Very, very disturbing. I don't know what we expected. It's. That's usually I, what he seeks out and shows to us. So. Is he? Uh, does he always do Japanese shoot 'em ups, or is he does? He does, does everything. everything. He does oh, okay, a lot okay. of things, but he usually seeks out the weirdest of the weird things he can find. Oh, okay, well that makes sense because yeah. that was weird shit. <laughs> like for some examples, he did one on Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Skull Vodka. Oh yeah. And he was telling about how Dan Aykroyd had all these good like uh, commercials where he talked about how it's like that we don't make it with sugar. All oh, those put sugar in theirs and stuff like that. <laughs> it's like the other vodkas basically put uh, what what was it was it. Antifreeze or yeah, high fructose corn syrup, that, and something like, yeah. like that. He's like, we don't put that in ours, and stuff like that. And just how crazy he was about it. And then we did one on flex tape, which was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, fucking hilarious. <laughs> and, and then there's also flex, uh, yeah, flex tape and flex seal. It's like, yeah. it's like you see this colander. I've, I've, I sealed the bottom of this colander. It's like you made a bowl, Phil. Effectively, <laughs> what you've done is make a bowl. Congratulations. And it's like. You, uh, you see this here? You see the sil You see the bottom of this? Solid. Nothing's supposed to go through. Why didn't you just buy one of these? You didn't have to make one out of a colander. And, like, ruin a colander. <laughs> Makes no sense. Saws a fucking boat in half and puts it back together with flex tape. Phil, what does that have to do with flex tape? 
<laughs> there is no fucking way. Oh, and he's on the boat now. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'd like, you know what? We need to do that. Well, I saw All a boat, boat in half. half. Put it saw together. a boat in half. Flex tape, see if Put it, it together with flex tape and see if we can actually do that. We can get a cheap boat. Yeah. And we yes, can do we it. can. Um, we could experiment. Yes, we can. I'm up for it. Let's do this. Oh, God. Right. Donate to our experiment. <laughs> yes. Yes. Our Patreon right down there. You want to see us do it? I'll do it. I'll be the guinea pig. You can put me out in the middle of Wataga and, like, like flew me out there. And I'll just be like, if I can paddle back and make it back, flex tape wins. But if not, I win. We'll but yet I'm stranded jacket. in the middle of Wataga. We will give you a life jacket. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. We'll, we'll you know, do it in a way where we kind of, like, you know, he's not in the water right away. So it'll be like, will he sink or will he float? And we'll push him in. <laughs> yeah, and I'll just be like, I'll just be like, no, it'll be I hope funnier this shit's it really worth work. it. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm shaking. I got, yeah, I got a little bit of the tremors here, so don't mind me. I'll be out there like the lifeguard, ready to throw that that tube. For yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> we need to do it on a really cold day too, so if it fails. And then of yeah. course, Whoa! and of course, my, have Micah be like, have Micah like be there with his hair out and just be like the lifeguard, just Whistling. be like, just be like, come on in, come in. Give him a whistle when you sink. Just be. Like... <laughs> yeah, I'll just be like, uh, I'll be like. It didn't work, guys. It didn't work. The seal broke. That is going to look like I'm an episode dead. of Jackass. Is what it's going to look like. It is straight up going to look like an episode of Jackass. You know, I'd like to do, well, I'd like to do a flex. I'd like to do crazy shit like that. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, we talked a long time ago about building a makeshift hovercraft. And what it is, is actually getting those high, like, high uh, rotation fans that they sell at Walmart for, like, 40 bucks. And put them on the bottom of like a bunch of cardboard boxes and see if it'll float and if someone can sit on top of it. Like someone really light like Wyndham. Like sit her up there. I don't know if that would work or not. Hey, we'd have to see. I'm willing to give it a shot. Like super high power fans? Like yes. This? Are you talking about like the big, the huge ones? Ones that are like this big around. The uh, big gray ones that they yeah. use in like gyms? Uh, kind of, yeah. Hmm. See if that works. I'd like to see if it would because... I've seen ones where they like float stuff over top of it, like uh, like uh, how much uh, stuff they can float over it before it eventually falls down. I, I, just a thought, guys. You know, no, just to see that's see if it pretty, can work. That'd be cool. All right, we'll take a Shark Tank. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They'll just be like, "How did you get on the set?" <laughs> and we'll just be like, "We'll just be like, we knocked out a security guard." <laughs> yeah. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this. Uh, by the way, this lady here, like we said at the beginning of the video, she has a YouTube channel. Check it out right down there in the description down below. Hello. You'll see a link. Check her out. She's got gaming stuff. She's Subscribe got film to my stuff. Channel. Subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see the original video, link, as always, in the description down below. So, uh, yeah, I guess until next time, everyone, signing off. I'm Nate. Chelsea. And I'm Nick. And we will see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.